What if we could find a way to close our lives with intention and meaning and find our clearest words to write a letter, perhaps to someone we love, telling them what's most important in our hearts? Or say, I'm sorry to someone we hurt, even if it was a decade ago. Or say thank you to someone whose life really made a difference to ours. Or perhaps create a living will, passing on our beliefs, our values, our blessings, our love to people rather than just our possessions. I see my patients grappling with a wide variety of tumultuous feelings that can include things like fear, sadness, denial, regret, a sense of urgency and wanting to get done more things in a shortening amount of remaining time, and a real desire to live on in the hearts and the minds of other people. Many of my patients feel alone with some of these feelings when they're not validated or spoken. And in her new book, Claire Willis really provides a wonderful roadmap for how to uh, come closer to what one really needs at the end of life. Lasting words can distill our many frenetic reactions and feelings about our own deaths to a more intimate sense of peace. For over 20 years, I've worked with people with life-threatening illness, teaching yoga classes and running support groups and writing groups. I have witnessed over and over again both the gifts as well as the losses of this particular period of life. I have seen people open in unexpected ways, coming into a sharp awareness of the present moment and a much deeper appreciation of themselves, their lives, and those around them. I wrote Lasting Words to help people step into this opening and to find more completion and resolution in their life while leaving extraordinary gifts to those they love. I find this book to be a real invitation, a warm invitation, to come as you are through life and into death with compassion for ourselves, really. This is the beginning of a longer conversation that can develop over time between patients and their family members and all the other people in their lives, including those of us who are in the medical profession, to enrich this really important and deeply introspective time in their lives.